Hello everyone, welcome to Laravel Rest and Manual System for the tutorial for beginner. In this tutorial, we are going to let the admin see the total number of user, total food, total food delivered, and total order in the admin panel. So for it, I will just log into the admin panel. So I'll give the admin email, then the admin password here, then click on login. So this will take us to the admin panel. So here, you can see we have some option here. So each of those options, we are going to show the data from our database table. So for it, let's go to our code editor. And we'll go to our resource, then views. Inside views, we have the admin folder. And inside admin folder, uh, here you can see we have index.blade.php. So here, whatever you are seeing over here is coming from the index.blade.php. And here you can see admin.body. So this part, you can see those card and those graph is coming from the admin dot body section. So let me just go to the admin folder, then body dot bed dot php, and here you can see we have a lot of code over here. So from here we're going to keep only those four section. I mean this four part. Here you can see new client and all project is written here. So let me just go back to the code and here you can see new client is written over here and it is inside this section. So let me just go down. And if we go down this section will end over here. Here you can see the section in it here. And there should be all project option here you can see all project is written over here. So we'll keep only this section. Except this section, we're going to remove every other thing. So from here, I'll just directly go down. And it indent over here. Uh, you can see, so I'm just going to remove this. And I will only give this single section or single part. If we now just set this, then refresh here. They can see we only have this guard option and okay, we also need to remove this and I think this came from here, from this section. So I also need to remove this section as well. And let me also remove the footer section from here as well. Save it. Then let's refresh again. And there you go. So right now we only have this guard option. So first of all, what we can do is that when we click on home, uh, we want to see this. So for it, what we are going to do is uh, let me just go to the sidebar.blade.php and here you can see for the home in the H shape we write index.html. So instead of index.html, we are going to mention this URL slash home. So for it, we are going to be to second bracket. We we'll set here URL to first bracket, then to single position, and we we'll just say here home. Save it, then refresh here, and if we now click on home, it will keep us on the same place. So here, those data will come from the database table. And here, instead of new clients, we are going to say here, all users, then all food, total order, and total delivered. Let's go back, and let's go to our body.blade.php. Let's get the top. Then here is shop new client. We're going to say all users. Then let's go down here. We're going to say all foods. Then this will be total orders. Let's say total orders. And we're going to say here total delivered. Let's say total delivered. And stop all user and all food. We are going to say total food and total user. Total user. If we now save, then refresh here. They can see this says all users. I mean total users, total food, total orders, and total deliver. So we want those numbers to be come from the database table. So for this slash home, we are seeing this view. So right now, let me just go to my uh, routes, then web.php. And if you go at the top, here you can see for the slash home, we are calling the home controller index function. 
So let's go to our home controller index function. So we go to app, HTTP, controller, and here you can see home controller. So in the home controller, we need to find the index function. Here you can see for the index function, if the user type is user, we are sending the user to this view. Otherwise, we are sending the user to the admin dog index view, which is basically this view. So from here, uh, from here, we are going to send the user total user total food total order data so right now we are going to declare a variable let's say dollar user or let's say dollar total underscore user equal to we need to measure user table model name let's say here user our user table model is user after that we are going to count the number of row in the user table so if you go to the user table there you can see we have total three user over here but uh, there is one more thing that is here you can see the user type is admin and we only want to count the user not the admin type user okay so here we are going to give a fire permission we we'll say here fire then to first bracket to say condition we are going to say here user type and this user type is the table column name here you can see user type and we want the user type to be user so we'll give a comma here to single quotation then we we'll say here equal again comma to single quotation and we we'll say user so here what we are doing is that we are trying to get the user type user in the user table and we're going to count it and in order to count it we just need to give this arrow sign then we need to say here foul like this let me just write it in a single line so i hope you can understand it so here we're trying to count the data in the user table where the user type is user after that we we'll send this total user variable to this view for it we need to say here comma compact then to first bracket to seal correction we need to set total underscore user we will now save this then we will go to our body.blade.php and here you can see total user so instead of this on we are going to give to second bracket then we send here dollar total user so if we now just save this then refresh here there you can see the total user is true so the same way we can also get that total food as well for it let's go back let's go to our home controller and we already add the food model name at the top of our controller so here we are going to say dollar total underscore food equal to okay let me just write it like this so that you can read it properly as here we are going to mention the food table model name which is food table tone we say we are count this will count the row in the food table and store it in this variable so again we we'll say here total underscore food which is this one let's go to our body.blade.php and we are going to say here total food if we give to second bracket we we'll say dollar total underscore four save it then refresh and i can see it says three so if we go to the food table i guess it will only have three food over here that's why it says three so right now we're going to count the total number of order and total number of food delivered so this is really simple here we're going to count the total number of order so I can just copy and paste and here I'm going to say total order and the stop food we are going to say order table model name which is order we just count it then we say here total underscore order so the same way we are going to count the total number of food delivered so for this we need to use per condition uh, let me just say here yeah, dollar total underscore delivered equal to we'll mention the food table model name i mean the order table model name double clone we we'll say here fire in first bracket to save operation and if we just go to the order table uh here again this is the order table in the order table we have four order here you can see 
So we want to check whether the food is delivered or not by using the delivery status. There again, there is only two food delivered from here. So here again, see delivery underscore status. So we are going to mention this delivery underscore status. Then we we'll give this format to single quotation inside it. We we'll give a equal sign. Then again, comma to single quotation. And here we are going to mention this delivered over here inside this to single quotation. And make sure that you write it exactly you have over here. Okay. So after this, we are going to count it. So we'll pick this arrow sign, then we send the other count. So this will count total number of order delivered in the order table and store it in this variable. So again, we'll give a comma here to single quotation and we say here total underscore delivered. Let's save this and let's go to our body.play.php and here we are going to remove this on 14. We'll give to second bracket. We'll say here dollar total underscore order. Then here we're going to say dollars. Total underscore delivered. Save this. Then if we now refresh. Okay, there's a error delivered. I think there's a spelling mistake. Let me check. Total delivered. Okay, I made a spelling mistake over here. This will be total delivered. Okay, let's show to save it here and here. Let's refresh. And there again, there is no error. So we are able to see the total number of users, total put, total order, and total deliver over here. So with this, our project is complete. So in the next tutorial, we are going to fix a few things in our project. I hope this tutorial is easy for you to follow. If you have any question or suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.